very much. Um, yes, um, our plan was to come here and, of course, to get the maximum points because we know that uh, if you watch the lock table with 15 points, we are done. So we need every point to reach our goal, of course, until then. Yes, we know that um, it's still a long season, but we wanted to get as many points as we can until the winter break, because we want still to reach our goal, and this is to be in the top eight spot in the end. And I think that we started very well. We had two great opportunities, and we know that against a fantastic team like Orlando, you, you don't get so many opportunities in front of the goal. And if you get some, then you, then you have to score. Because I think if you score from the two great opportunities, one goal, the game can be totally different. But after that, they scored from a free kick. What well, I think it was not a foul, but I think I'm too tired to talk about this referee's quality here in PSL, and I don't want to start at all because we have to um, we have to look to for ourselves. We didn't score the, the first two opportunities. Yeah, and then after one nil. It's not easy against a team like Orlando. We started then with the long balls, where I was not absolutely not happy about it, because with long balls and second balls, you don't have a chance to win against any team. It's just a lottery. So in the half time, we talked clear that we want to play from the back, from the keeper, and keep the ball on the ground and try to switch the side to attack the space and yeah but we didn't have this kind of opportunities in the second half they clearly some some in the end unlucky for for us but yeah um, i give a lot of credit to my team we tried everything but uh, sometimes the things doesn't go the way you like to and now and also i would like to give a lot of credit to the opponent for a fair and tough game they have a great team, great coach, and I wish them all the success they have if in the start of the season to reach also. Thank you. We'll now open for questions from the floor. As you know, we've got closing mics. Uh, please uh, show them, identify yourself as well as the media company representative. Try to ask any questions. Uh, coach, can I ask you the, to, if you got that uh, early goal and you had them obviously maybe got a result out there? How much of a boost would that have obviously been for Saturday's Cup final? And is it now in reverse the fact that you that you missed two very good chances? Is that a little bit of a deflator that you've maybe got to work on this week in terms of confidence for the Cup final? I think that uh, I'm now with my team almost for two years. And we got this kind of, uh, let's say, games and this kind of experience like what you ask now and my team they 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 know now everything what is past is past you cannot change it you have to work with your mind you have to think positive because this is the only way where you can survive as an athlete i know the mind is a very very strong strong thing because he can put you down or also up but you have to work with your mind and you have to work every day, talk to yourself that you are good. Because if you were not good, you were you, you would not play in PSL. So you have to think positive and you have to believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, who, who, who should? So all in all, I think my players, they will be absolute ready for the cup final. Absolute no worry about it. Um, coach, uh, have luck on the result, um, maybe luck on the game this week. Um, you, you, talk, you talk about being uh, intentional about playing from the back and, and, and also you just encouraging and um, playing that long ball. And earlier this week, on that very same stage, we were engaging Coach Steven. He was talking about um, maybe as often being acceptable and playing this brand of football because it also talks to and the kind of players that we've got in the country. Is, 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 
this is something also that and as we've been coaching here for three years now, um, you also can accustom to that. This is my type of football game that they have as I think it's a complex, more complex as just to sit here and say we have to play always from the back and and everybody should do this because to play from the back is hard work. Play the long balls, it's the easy part. You just put the long balls and everything just with uh, lucky deflections, lucky uh, free kicks you, you score, but this is in my view. But again, every coach has his own style. My style, I don't like this long balls. Second balls, but if you want to play like this from, from the back, you, you, you have to start with under 15. You have to start with the younger players because, again, I never saw so many talents that you have here actually in South Africa. Unbelievable what for skillful players, fast ones. But if we talk about the tactically approach, this is where you are not far. Because if you watch the big five leagues, they are just far away what, when we talk about the tactical side. Because we get also players from the under 21, under 23, from NFD, and you can see that they are not coached. What it means coached. I don't want to talk about uh, other coaches, but I mean like about the tactical view. And this is where you have to start with under 12, under 13, 14, 15, 16. But now, now if I say against something more, it will be again this coach, he talks too much. But the thing is, if you ask me about the opinion, and, I, and I'm honest, I think it's just a good thing for the PSL, because I like this uh, 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 country. It's a beautiful, beautiful country with a lot of beautiful people. And in my view, if you don't need any education in PSL, what we should then talk about? If PSL don't respect the league himself, and if anyone can be a coach, what we are talking about even more. So it means, the standard has to be, again, to improve everything here because you have unbelievable skillful players again. But to improve everything, you need a standard because to be in PSL, you have, you have to be one of the best, uh, 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 let me say, coaches, right? But to be the best, you need education. So to educate yourself, it takes time. For me, if you ask me how long it took to have the UEFA Pro, seven years. But it's not about only about the education. It's about, you know, you educate yourself that the players don't get injured. So you, you have to know about the micro cyclus. You have to know about the macro cyclus. You have to know about the meson cyclus. You have to know about everything to improve the players, to make them feel that they don't get injured. So, and if, a, and if a team has 10 injured players with hamstrings and with adductor, then you have to ask yourself, do you know so much about these kind of things as a, as a coach? So it's a complexity. And if you improve like this, you need also for under 15, you have to have education. Coaches, minimum CAF B for under 15. Under 17, CAF A. Why not? Then you will improve. And then we can talk about to play from the back. Because then you get players from the under 18. They are top. They are well educated. And it's easier to play with them. So all in all, I think it's more complicated. But again, we went now because it's about the game. And now it will be again, Ramovic talks too much. But uh, I apologize. But you asked me, and this is my honestly answer. Coach, I haven't seen anything that says Ramovic talks too much, but anyway, um, can I 
to ask you about this week now. You, what are you going to do this week? What are your plans? You do the book. You go somewhere special. You do the boys some days off. What, what are you thinking in terms of build up? We we reached the cup final, and it's a beautiful thing. So it means that this club and this team goes in the right direction, and that's it actually. Yes, it is a cup final. Yes, we we will prepare ourselves because it's a fantastic opportunity for us. And but even if we don't get the positive there, also we believe in our way. We we believe in the way how we uh, build up the club and the team, and we will have a lot of more cup finals. I'm ab absolutely sure about it. Why? Because I believe in our quality. I believe in my stuff. I believe in myself that we can make it. It's a, it's, it, it is a process, especially for us, if you don't have this kind of financial power like other clubs. So you, so you have to improve young players. You have to improve uh, the players you you get, and we are and we do do it because if we in the end sell again five players, it's also a great success from my staff or for, for us, for the staff, and for me because it's not easy again to improve players so much that the best clubs comes to, to you and buy the players from you. The, this is the the club that we are now right now. But I'm absolutely sure that, that, that soon, if we get financially stronger, that we can keep this kind of players and then we can hopefully be one of the best teams in the, the league. It is a dream, but why we should not dream big? Sorry, what are you doing this week, coach? We do the same thing. Same like always. We analyze now why we lost today the game. We analyze now what we should improve. We analyze what we should not do anymore. And then day off, but then we are pre preparing ourselves just like the last two years, what we do and try to improve even more and more and more. We record every session, we cut clips, we show the pl players what we do, what we, ha what we have to improve. We will analyze also the opponent. We will show the, the guys some clips. I have a lot of time now to watch again a lot of games from uh, uh, Stellenbosch and then to cut uh, the clips what we believe that we can hurt them, where are the strengths, the, the weaknesses, the same procedure like always. Thank you. Thank you, coach. Uh, Coach, you, you had to forgive me. I've had, an, I've had an opportunity to watch a couple of your training sessions, uh, maybe not legally, so just to try and learn from you. And in, in my eyes, you're one of the best that coach technically. What makes a good coach in your eyes? Because uh, you know, you, you, you're not far off from other top coaches. From in your perspective, what makes a top coach? First of all, thank you very much. Secondly, the, the next time if you come, just come to me. It's you are always welcome to watch the training sessions, so you don't have to hide. Always, so no problem at all. If you need some, if you have some questions, you always welcome to ask. Uh, I think that every coach has his own own style and all thing. You know, I'm more because I went through when I played myself. So I went through all the good things and the bad things. So I know actually what, what it takes to be a professional guy. And, it, and I know that to increase the chances to be a good coach is, for, of, of course, to, to educate you, yourself. But I think it's not always as a, as a coach. I think it's always in every every job you are, you are doing. You have to educate yourself because this will increase the chance that you know about your job, that you know about the things, that you can change some tactically things, that you can, can change something, that, that you can see in the game what the opponent does. Example, when we played now against Amazulu, they played 3-5-2, but in the halftime, they changed on 4-4-4-2. So then you have to change your game plan also. And you have to spend a lot of time. You have to be upset 
about your job, you have to love your, your, your job, you have to enjoy it to, to improve every day one percent. And this is, I think, this is the thing what I would tell a coach what he should do, because when I see what you have in our league, a lot of free coaches, one of them, example, Eric Tinkler, then you have Rulani, then you have Reo from Orlando, then you have a lot of great coaches, but also you you have some coaches. You ask yourself, how is this possible? Please, no. A lot of a lot of respect, but I think everyone can have their own opinion. Because in the final question.